This is quite simply a marvellous time to be playing the banker. And the first opportunity goes to... Waxy! Yeah. To actually be the first person out on the Halloween show was tremendous. That's one thing I'm so glad that I was able to stay here and be here to play that, to be in that role and to play that first game. And um, I think I set the bar quite high with the, the way I played. I need the money because obviously I want a new car, um, a nice holiday, and my son wants a laptop and a few other things and bits and bobs you do. So what have we got here then? My son um, sent me a card. He put an amount on it that he wants. Um, basically, he made a, a wish list for himself. He wants a laptop, he wants this, he wants that. So he's set an amount that he wants. So if I don't get that, I'm in trouble. Right. The fact that I took the three big guns out in the first round, I was in a real bad situation. Oh. What a spectacular way to start a game. No, um, I was actually planning to go at the end from day one. All the, the guys on the wing, these swing and west wings, knew what I was going to do. My thing was to come, play the game, and take the boxes I had to the very end. Come on, Patricia. It's so going to be a blue, Whitey. Me? Yeah. Um, when I saw a treat come up in the game, I was over the moon. Yeah! Because obviously if they'd picked up the opposite, the trick, I would have been in real difficulty with the amount I had in my box. I was over the moon. It didn't change my game around totally. Good luck, mate. My relationship with the banker, I think he was afraid of me. He kept checking it in south, south here and there, and obviously picking on me. Oh, I love it, Whitey. You've got him really scared. This is the maximum that he can offer in this set of circumstances, and he's got a terrible feeling that it's not <laughs> going to be enough. It is £17,000. Obviously, um, over the last few years, I've had uh, some awkward uh, things going on. I lost my job in a local supermarket. Um, I'd worked there for 10 years. Obviously, I got made redundant. Uh, you kind of... We'd just taken a mortgage out in the house. So things just started to slip. Uh, the debts are going up, this is going up, and problems are happening. No, I'll have the question, please. <sighs> you are a great player. And this is a really important decision. Whitey. £17,000. Deal or no deal? I'll let you choose. Deal. For some reason I kind of turned in the last box. I don't know why I just had a feeling and went with it. Which worked out quite well. Are we about to find out? that Whitey got out of the game at just the right moment and sold a £50 box for £17,000. Or was your gut instinct right? And had you followed your heart, would you have had £35,000? I've got like well, I've got seventy thousand pound. I got a holiday which we haven't afforded for I don't know how long, and I got seventy thousand pound which I can put towards my family, my son, which I've been able to do for a long time. So it has really made a difference for me.